slightly shorter video for you today guys nothing like a bit of tendonitis to slow progress to a halt though i thought i could use the time waiting for this to heal to cover some of the theory of how i've wired the van but before we get into that i want to thank all of you for all of these watch hours you've given me over the past few weeks engaging on other platforms like instagram and tiktok all of that's really helped to start driving a bit more traffic through to my channel and i have seen an uptick in in views and subscribers and comments so keep that up it's really helpful so far on my electrical installation i've already got the lighting wired um, i'll show you how i've routed all of that i've got this cable here which i'm going to run that's for the max air dome vent that i'm going to put in here it's a much more compact fan that works with my roof rack i'm a lot more confident now i've done some electrical installs in other people's vans though i'm showing you how i've done something i'm not telling you how you should do it you want to do your research as well don't just go by what i say but let's get on with the cabling first when it comes to wiring your 12 volt lights into your van there are generally two ways you can do it you can wire it in series or you can wire it in parallel i've wired in parallel and there are a number of advantages in a parallel circuit each light is independently connected to the power source ensuring that each individual light gets the full 12 volts of power by using wago connectors the positive source splits at each light so if you're wiring in series you come out of the 12 volt fuse box through a switch and then you would come into the first light and then you come out of the first light and straight into the second to the third and to the fourth in series if i removed any of these lights that would kill the circuit but because it's in parallel if I remove this light all of the others stay on and I'll show you why that is so we come out of the 12 volt fuse box through the switch and then we come up through the wall here and out and then we come to the first light which is this one and instead of going straight into the light I've got three-way Wago connectors and the reason it's three-way is because you've got your power in, your light, and power out. So basically by removing the light here, the power source is uninterrupted. It comes up, through, into the Wago connector, out of the Wago connector, along, down to the next light. But instead of going into the light, you go into another set of three-way wago connectors and then that repeats for all four lights basically what that means is in this setup if one light fails all the other lights remain lit providing consistent and reliable lighting throughout the circuit effectively what that means is that you can easily branch off from any of these lights however in my case the reading lamps i wanted to install required their own dedicated circuit since branching off of the main lights would have required the main lights to be on all the time in order to use the reading lamp so being on their own dedicated circuit means that i can have them on independently of each other and independently of the main lighting circuit so for my reading lamp circuit i come up out of the fuse box into a three-way wago connector so that's my power in and like on the main lighting circuit i've got one of the terminals going into a switch which then goes out to this light and then the other terminal on the wago connector is the power out comes up along here and down into another switch here for this reading lamp so then you come out of the switch and into the lamp if you feel like you learned something perhaps you were enlightened by this video then remember to give it a thumbs up below 
subscribe to the video and click the bell icon. That's the best way to get notified every time I upload because there's loads more of these videos coming out. I aim to upload a van conversion video every other week and sometimes every week if you're lucky. In the next video, Dan makes his return on the channel and help, well I say helps, he pretty much fitted some new sills for me, but that's what's going on in the next episode next week. So tune in then and make sure you're subscribed and you've clicked the bell icon so you get notified when that goes live.